Here we have the trachea, hey, white one, Mr. Marga. and here we have the esophagus, which actually ran down behind the lungs into the stomach. We have the lungs right here, and we have the four chambered mammalian heart right here. Right here, we have the liver, which is a chemical factory for the body. When we go down more, this pouch right here is the gallbladder. It holds bile, which will be later used in the stomach, which is over here. This pouch right here is the stomach. And then this flab, of, this flab of skin is the spleen. It filters out damaged red blood cells. And foreign objects. And foreign objects. Once we get a little bit deeper, we got the pancreas right here which produces insulin for the body and then we have the kidneys we got the small intestine, the lighter colored one is the small intestine, it filters out all the nutrients 90% of the nutrients and then we go down to the large intestine, the one that looks a little more green, it filters out 90% of the water and then underneath here we got two sacs one and two, those are the ovaries this is a female. Right here is the urethra, which uh, urine goes through and a pee out of comes from the kidneys. Here we have the vena cava that goes into the right atrium. The right atrium fills up, pumps into the right ventricle. The right ventricle comes out through the pulmonary arteries to the lungs, returns back into the pulmonary vein, fills in through the the left ventricle, the left atrium. The left atrium goes to the left ventricle and pumps out through the aorta. You can clearly see right there. Here we have the esophagus, the larger tube, more pink colored. Right below it we have the trachea, which is white and more thick. Now, this is the umbilical cord. It's going to the liver right now to deposit nutrients. Let's cut They're first. watching the corn. And if you bring it down so you can see the eye, Look at that. Cool. They can't yeah. keep their attention off of it. Guys, we've had Here we have the kidney. The kidney filters blood and takes out um, carbon dioxide, which makes a molecule called urea that finds and travels down the ureter all the way down to the bladder. Lift up the bladder here. Comes out the urethra and into the toilet. Below the urethra, I mean the bladder, we have the rectum. It, you can easily get the two confused due to the fact that they lay on top of each other. See? Okay, here we are. Start at the lungs. We have our two lungs. We have our blood or flied heart. Under that, we have our liver, the esophagus. We have the gallbladder right here, this little pouch. We have the pancreas over here, stomach, the kidneys, the ureter, the bladder, the two ovaries, the rectum. Right up from that, we have the large intestine, the small intestine. We have our stomach right there and our spleen right there. Pull some of this back. Set it down. Here we are. You almost have to scoop it out. That's an eyeball. Um, as best you can. Here we are cutting away skin from the cranium so we can expose the intracranial brain. Best job you can to get underneath there and scoop it out in one piece if possible. Being very careful not to cut through the eyeball. Involuntary muscles. Very shortly. Oh, that was perfect. Look at this, check this. Yeah. Look, it cuts right through on the top, it's like butter. Butter. Then you can use your forceps and start to peel those sections away. That's what I was thinking. I have a beating heart inside the brain for some reason. I'm not sure how it got there or why it's doing that, but it seems to be acting on its own will. You can see the contractions of the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Tuk, 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 tuk.
Tum, tum. See, I, I don't know. I'm just saying. Here we have the cerebrum on top. We've got our cerebellum down here. If you flip that, you can't really flip it over, but flip it over. The brain stem actually comes through the skull that we emptied out. <laughs> the brain stem comes down <laughs> to the um, spinal cord or the vertebrae Chelsea, connected take a picture or, um, protected by all these vertebrae right here. Got a brain stem up here at the very top. Connects to the spinal cord, goes all the way down, and that's the central nervous system.